<laughs> Robin. In studio. I don't know why. Colin Quinn. Colin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here because uh, I'm lonely and I'm insomniac. <laughs> You're an insomniac now, too? Nah, but you know, I you know, I actually have to leave. I'm jetting out today to Vegas. Where are you, Vegas? Uh, what are you doing there? I'm doing the Palms. The Palms, nice. But let me promote next week. I'm doing Caroline's with Keith Robertson. I think his name is. <laughs> oh my God, that's I a scored him last night. That's a huge I'm Jim's big night out. Him. That's a huge score. I think Jim hit it best when somebody said drop it, and I said Keith dropped it. And Keith goes, I dropped what? And Norton goes, the ball in 1989. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing Caroline's next weekend? Mm -hmm. Next uh, Thursday through Sunday or whatever? And this is a message. Please, Lady Diane Marion, I love you. Don't show up. You ruined last oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Colin. <laughs> Hi. As I walked on stage, I was like, ah. Yeah, frightened. Well, because they like to wave at their comedian friends. Screaming, ah! <laughs> while you're trying to do your act. Yeah. Oh, that's why we no call him the retard Laverne Shirley. <laughs> yeah. No way to miss Marion's hair out there in the crowd. You just exactly. look. Does it, all Come it needs is like... Away. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like Dennis DeYoung or Viking from Bad Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Viking. That's right. <laughs> I want to get her in here and just get a football helmet face guard and some Jets decals and just slap it on the side of that hair, though. Because I bet it would look very authentic. <laughs> Seahawks. <laughs> it would look very uh, authentic. Uh, Face that's mask. Funny. Yeah, so uh, Colin just kind of stumbled into the office yeah. as we were preparing today. Yeah. You're an umbrella. You look like an English gentleman walking yeah. in. Well, look at that awful thing, speaking of England. Yes. Our brethren over there in uh, yeah. England. Yeah, well, well, one guy that has our back. Right. We're watching the coverage as we speak, and uh, it looks uh, awful. Lots Christiane of explosions. Poor Tokyo Rose. Yeah. Oh, I can't stand her. So what's the deal? A series of blasts in London's uh, transportation system. That's all we know yeah. so far. Down in what they call the uh, tubes. The tubes. It's called a subway. What's with their wacky... Uh, speak English over there. Could you help us out? It's the tubes. And uh, some explosions there. And then on their wacky double-decker buses. Yeah. They've had some explosions on those. One bus they showed... Uh, ripped apart. The whole upper level was gone. They're talking about some uh, some casualties, people dead. Well, what injured. about you were saying today about what the news here is going to do? Oh yeah, yeah. well we're we're taping the news and we're hoping our our faithful listeners will help us out all over the country because they will make this a local story. Oh, of course, bombing on London subways and trains. How safe is our <laughs> transportation system? We'll exactly. let you know. Oh, you just want to reach through the screen and choke somebody. And they don't even have subways in Iowa, but they'll still do the no same buses, story. buses, yeah. Yeah. They'll figure out a way to make it uh, local to, to everyone so we could all be scared today. One thing I'm Fertilizer learning. Fertilizer in your Iowa field capable of exploding. Yes. Cornfields exploding. They have uh, cameras everywhere. That's what I'm learning here about England. They are showing closed circuit TV. Every road... Every sidewalk, everywhere, you're being recorded. Well, that's great. On something. Don't they have that so something like this doesn't Don't happen? Don't they have it? Where's the guy putting the bombs <laughs> right, in the buses? Right. Where's that Isn't uh, that video? the reason that they want to watch us 24 hours a day? I I'm sure suicide. he looks like... I it was suicide bomb. You think it was suicide? I think no. that's... I think they, they can find that out pretty quickly, and I, no one said anything yet about it. Uh, no speculation here. We got Fox News, the alarmist news on. I was listening to um, CNN... Because I have XM Satellite Radio. OP. That's the beauty of the and, Satellite Radio. And I was listening to 1010 Winds, which is your regular AM, your amplitude modulation frequency on my radio driving in. And uh, I wasn't getting the information I wanted. Wasn't enough. I'm hearing, you know, ball scores and stuff. And there's meanwhile bombs going yeah. off in England. So I quickly uh, switched to XM and uh, take 15 minutes going through 120 channels to try to find the fucking CNN or some news goddamn channel. Well, if you knew the service, it would be very I easy to I don't know find. the service, and why do I have to know? Can't it be easy? Can't there be a search feature somewhere where I put C in and, and CNN comes How up? How preset some channels? I only have so many presets. My uh, whole one is taken up with, I have uh, top tracks, I have the uh, 60s, 70s, 80s, I have Ethel, I have 90s, uh, I have New York traffic. And then on the other one, I have uh, Ethel, Mrs. Trumbull, uh, Ricky, uh, Fred. 
Uh, everyone knows it's uh, channel 122, Anthony. You do not. You just looked over it. <laughs> Eric put it up on the... See, 122. 122? Yeah. I started at our channel because I knew it was high up somewhere. Right. So I had to go from 202 down 100 huh. channels. No, they're not hiding CNN where they hide us. By that time, it was done. It was old news. You, I'm talking you about crumpets. You don't think that they thought 202 was a, a just a nice channel? Oh please, number for us. It was it was strategically done to hide us. Well, We're... 201 is remixes of Clay Aiken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they surround us with shit no one wants to hear. Right. I have a question too. If you put in the search function and you put in C, do you think CNN and then CNT, which is the Lifetime channel, would pop up? Ah. <laughs> uh. So I, was, I was looking. I was looking for CNN. Yeah. And uh, I got Fox News, and just the alarmist, speculating Fox News. Uh, they had no information really, and a bunch of people uh, without the English accent talking about what could happen, what might happen. And then I finally find CNN, and you have the English accent people from England talking about what they're seeing. So I'd rather go to CNN. Well, know what I did on the way in? I was uh, also listening to the coverage on XM Satellite. Oh, Radio you were on uh, Deep Tracks, Anthony. On Deep Tracks, <laughs> and they went <laughs> and they went very deep into the story. Did and, they play some uh, Pink Floyd? And it turns out that the tracks very deep in the ground were not affected. Oh, Deep Tracks, yes. the subway system. Yeah. <laughs> See, I went the other way with that. You zigged. Meanwhile, and, Norton comes in here like, "Oh, what happened? Something in London." No, yeah, I walk, you had no, 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 no idea. I didn't. That's why would I? Then why would I walk in going, "What happened? Something in London." It's why a matter of you your... take off your shades. What? It's raining. It's the most overcast day. He walks and in. He walks in with shades at six in the morning. I can't help it. I want to be recognized and bothered. By you know how it is. Somebody fancy street. and popular. Colin just looks at him and goes, "It's raining out and it's nighttime." <laughs> He's just jealous because <laughs> he can't find sunglasses that fit around that fat skull. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you dinosaur, little baby pinhead. <laughs> Dino spots head. <laughs> He was just destroying you before you got here. I know. There's nothing worse than when you walk in and then you look in the glass and you see stupid Colin leaning and then you two just laughing and looking as I walk in. It made I'm like, yuck. <laughs> but you, made you know it's not here comes our friend Jimmy Norton. <laughs> Colin made it okay to have a big head today. Because obviously he has a big head, but yeah. he's like, yeah, I know I have a big head. Who cares? And then he decides to <laughs> talk well, about how awful baby your, head. So your head is. It's cute. <laughs> it's small cute. head, though. He says he has a little, what did you say? A little dinosaur baby head. <laughs> right. A like pinhead. Dino. <laughs> yeah, he looks like Dino from the Flintstones. He's got spots like Dino on his head. <laughs> I happen to resent that. Why don't you get those colored in? <laughs> Different colors on the liver spots. Come on. Don't you have a U.S. air flight to catch to Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest insult of all from this idiot because he goes up every gig with that serious, mock, serious tone like anybody is that worried about him? Oh, continental. I just got him a continental. Or I'm not going. <laughs> Youngest fleet in the nation. Yes. Uh, well, next to JetBlue, but I'm talking of the majors, of course. Please. The majors. The ones you can get first class in, also. Absolutely. JetBlue, all, uh, uh, you know, everything's fine and dandy with JetBlue, but try to get a first class seat. I hope this is not taken the wrong way, but I hope you're on a continental flight and you get blown to smithereens. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow. Sorry. Colin, we'll probably all be sharing that flight. <laughs> yes. No, you won't. Unless you're being blown in the good way. <laughs> <laughs> Some chick just leans over. I enjoy you. Oh, oh, oh. Colin sent me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And she gets I like a... bark. <laughs> yeah. Gets a mouthful of smithereens. Did I tell you about the... You want to hear a first? Smithereens. <laughs> Did I tell you guys about the... I swear to you, and this is not... I'm not making it up. About a month ago, I go to LaGuardia. The lady checking me is wearing like a Islam... Not like a burqa, but like an Islamic oh, top. Oh, boy. She's reading a book. I promise. I swear on anybody... Uh, my mother... She's reading a book that says... While she's checking... Women... And Islamic law regarding fatwa, fatwa, the death warrant. Oh, my God. Stop it. Is that hilarious? You are kidding. No, I swear to God. How is she allowed to do that? Being that is woman. alarming the passengers. You know? <laughs> that would alarm uh, the passengers. <laughs> That's amazing. I know. Like, Swear she's to not going to let uh, a few things slide, perhaps. Yeah. You know what the fuck? Can't you read Lewis Grizzard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or that other famous Islamic book, Clits and Why They're Overrated. <laughs> <laughs> How to dig them out with a spade shovel. <laughs> <laughs> that's horrific. Oh, oh that's cool. Wow, that would. Uh, I wonder yeah. if somebody said something to her. Uh, after you, of course. You're just as big a pussy as we are. I was like, hala, hala, hala. You should have said something. Like, hey, you still got on like flight, that. though, I bet. I sure as heck did, because I figured, what are the odds? What are the odds? What If we stop guy, getting on? They stopped the guy in front of me, because they said, no smoking, sir. He said, leave my shoes out of this. <laughs> <laughs> you 
fatwa. You think Bruce Kelly's crying over the bombing? <laughs> no, no, no. no, he's <laughs> crying over the who. He, he was, he's hoping the who is okay. <laughs> they weren't in the subway or on the bus, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as long as the magic bus is okay That didn't blow up, right? By the way, I hope someone uh, pointed out that we blew it yesterday First of all, we don't even remember being here I don't remember the last hour of the show And I'm not kidding We really don't anything. We I was really so goddamn tired We shouldn't take four days off in a row I mean, we had the weekend and then a couple of extra days It just throws us into the regular schedule thing again I Anthony was, admitted I was to walking... me in the back office He goes, dude, I don't even remember the last hour of the show I got up and walked uh, to the parking garage when I was on the sidewalk, I'm walking, and I was I was in such a daze, I got passed walking by one of those shuffling homeless guys with a big backpack on that do like .1 mile per hour down the sidewalk. I couldn't move. By the way, can I say one thing about the homeless on this block? Yes. That fat idiot on the corner. He's been there for like two years. The guy with the big pot belly sticking out of his yes, shirt? Yes, he's right under yep. the thing. Yeah. One day I'm walking there with a woman. And he goes, Saturday night dead. He heckles me while it's home. <laughs> you were heckled by that guy? And I go, fuck you, you fat pig. I told him, if I'm yelling back at a homeless fat guy. Fuck you, fat pig. You got heckled by a homeless yeah. guy. Yeah, Saturday night dead. He yells it at me as I'm walking by. Right. That's you classic. motherfucker. It's the middle of the day. He had no shirt on. He was fat. It was hot. We yeah. love our homeless around here. They're oh, Saturday night that dead. Guy. They they're, heckled They're classic. That guy's laying down road. there today. His pants were down so low. Uh, you could see the fat over his dick, his dick. Ooh. Upper dick fat was hanging out of the top of his pants, and then for some reason it's a big thing for everyone to hose down the sidewalks here in the city in the yes. morning. Yeah. So uh, one guy, one guy was bringing the hose out, and uh, the hose just went right over the guy, and the guy with the hose didn't even care. <laughs> like he just he pulled the hose, it went right over the sleeping homeless guy with the big gut. That, Speaking of uh, that, defines New York right there. They just don't care. Yeah, they they care more about their stupid sidewalk Clean than clean it off. The homeless person lot hose him down. Speaking of on fat it. guts hanging out, we went to visit Robert Kelly last night. He was pretty. Ah, fat. how's Bob? How's his leg? It was, oh. it, he's, he's in bad shape, but it was funny on stage last night because he slammed me and then I slammed him. But when, while he, he was being slamming Bob Kelly on stage, he goes, yeah, he's just laying there like a fat Hawaiian. I want to go to his house and shove an apple in his fat pig mouth. <laughs> <laughs> then we visited him. He did look pretty fat. <laughs> he did look pretty fat. He has a haircut. He has a haircut like a sling blade haircut. <laughs> I swear to God, it's really the worst haircut I've ever seen. <laughs> so he just had that little bit on the ba back like a weird... Yeah, I heard that and Colin was telling us that he was kind of like doing you on stage last night at the cellar or something. You were yeah, like... I was well, but I was doing the the uh, pretentious pause, <laughs> the profound teacher on stage. I the profound teacher. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's gone a little bit far now, and I mean, and then when he went up. Idiotically, he hadn't watched my set, which is bad as a comedian. He should be studying the master. Why would I? I wanted to stay awake. And then he, uh, <laughs> and then when he went up, he actually did it even worse than usual. He goes, "I've been, uh, I've been lately. I've I moved to a new apartment." And it's like, the crowd's like, you know, time is money. These are 10-minute sets. <laughs> <laughs> we paid for a certain finite amount. And a uh, new apartment. And it's like, oh. <laughs> I just then he started slamming me, and they loved it. He started imitating me on stage, going, arr, arr. <laughs> I just leaned against the wall and mumbled. Yeah. The self-important idiot who you <laughs> couldn't quite understand, but you knew was saying something remotely funny. No, see, but I'm self-important, but at least I'm hurrying through my set. You're standing there like... You know, breathing in the air. You know what I mean? Like you're standing on a balcony in some <laughs> South American dictatorship. You know, people. <laughs> you really are becoming a pompous ass. I have to pause when I'm, te oh. when I'm testing material. I Hush. always go very, very slow. That's yeah. how I do it. Yeah. I don't know how you do it, but that's how I do it. Ooh. Nice and slow. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I well. missed that one, damn it. Still very funny. never get out at night. What? I never. I would love to, to watch the shenanigans that yeah, take no, place between you characters. I, well, I always know that's the fun times. When I'm going on after him, and I walk through the bathroom, uh, I walk through the, the the club last night. He just went ah, and the crowd just laughed. I'm like, all right, I know there was some shit talking going on. Because <laughs> so they all know us by now. Of course. So when I walk on after him, I'm like, was he bad mouthing me? And the whole crowd's like, yes. Yeah, they rat him out right away. <laughs> No loyalty. Hey, uh, the listeners want the craziest updates on this show. Let's go to Charlie the Trucker. Charlie, you need an update. Yes, hey, uh, I was wondering whatever happened to that turd that's sitting in the corner of the parking garage. Ah, the homeless turd. 
Yeah, yeah. I was keeping track of this thing. About, uh, I guess it's been probably four months now. Uh, when I went to the parking garage one day, there was a fresh, <laughs> big log Ugh. that a homeless guy had just taken a dump right oh. there. And you could tell what he did when the uh, when the garage, the big grate, the big door in front of the garage was shut when they're uh, closed. They closed that door. He used that to prop his back against and take the dump kind of in the corner. So uh, as I'm walking in, I look, and it's it's fresh. It's right there, and you could tell it's not an animal. Uh, well, it is an animal, but uh, of the right. human variety. And uh, it, w- it was there. So now for the, for four months, I've been looking at it every day and watching it decompose to the point where it just turned into this dry, almost paper-looking, uh, like onion paper shredded type of thing. <laughs> and i got to tell you, uh, wh- whoever asked that question, uh, needing this turd on the street update, it is pretty much now just uh, fragments, little pieces of it um, that are sitting there waiting to just blow away with the wind. Just the string remains. The string? <laughs> <laughs> that was very poetic, though. Yeah, there was uh, nothing. It's almost like, a, almost like charred corn husk. Is laying uh, there now. That's just, it's a stringy, just a little stringy, the stringy materials left. That's about from it. that fine meal that I'm sure he grabbed out of a dumpster somewhere. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's it. We got lots to do today on the show. Paul Field and his wife are coming in to do the news at 8 a.m. Isn't he an English gentleman? Yes, he is. Maybe He's... he can have some insight on this uh, story out he, of England. He and, his, he and his wife do all my merchandise, and they're very, very uh, capable, uh, qualified people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It'll be awful. No dipping into the till with them? You can trust them? Yeah, no, no. I think that they're they're, yeah. they're pretty legit. Yeah, let's hope so. It's pretty wild business, that uh, T-shirt and uh, video and stuff like that. Yeah, well, not my merchandise. It's pretty simple. I don't know. Yeah, T-shirts. You know, money, money's made. Money's given to you. Who knows where some of it goes, perhaps? It's uh, all done out of an account, all out of a PayPal account. We both go into the same account. So it I, is. I have a complete list of all transactions, and I think they're very honest. I'm let's, not accusing them. Let's hope. I'm not accusing them. I'm just saying, you know, you got to watch yourself. I, I've sold. Uh, They're more to that honest than you selling that drivel. What? It was very accurate. That you call merchant merchandise implies a necessity. <laughs> it happens to be very, very popular stuff. I can't help it. I, look, you want to go to eatabullet.com or jimnorton.net? Oh. Can't go to jimnorton.com because of the slopes that fucking own it in Hong Kong. I you hope stop leave me alone. I'm off a machine. That's who owns Hong it? Hong Kong? Yeah, it was some guy in Florida and it had jimnorton.com. I talked to Bob yesterday and... Uh, he did what he could. It was just, and it was bought by these these fucking cyber squatters in in Asia. And I just, I fucking hate. Why them. Why would they buy Jim Norton? Because they're awful, savage, rotten people, and that's what they do. They oh, buy. I buy my Jim Norton. They bought my name. We buy a Jim Norton. Yeah. Everybody locking. They, they probably thought it was name. the steakhouse. Those fucking non-English speaking <laughs> dummies. <laughs> Look, guys, I got to get out of here. I just. Oh, like to oh, I got to catch my flight. I got to go. Yeah. What but big... thanks for ruining my big serious radio thing. It was Infinity. I, I made a mistake. It was Infinity I had a meeting with. Okay. But they broke it off anyway. What are you going to be, David Lee Roth's sidekick? <laughs> hey, Dave. Hey, Diamond, I'm going to call him. Diamond, Diamond Dave. Dave. The Diamond and Collins Show. Rumor is Diamond Dave uh, taking over for Howard on K-Rock dun, in New dun, York. Dun, 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 cool. Dun, 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 that dun, will be a disaster. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Was, oh, exactly. <laughs> I'll, Shut up. I was telling Colin in the back office, like these guys that are celebrities to begin with that go on a radio, they don't understand what they're getting into. They yeah, think it's easy. Yet, so. And then when you start realizing you got to come up with 20 hours of uh, original material a, a, a week, you yeah. probably have these a great time. Lose it. Like, you probably have a great time thinking this is going to be the greatest, easiest gig ever. And then a week goes by, two weeks, and you're going, wait, I got to still do this? Right. I thought, like, you know, I. I had uh, two weeks. I came up with stuff, and now what, I got to come up with more and every day. And your listeners don't care if you had a great show, they because now you have to worry about tomorrow. No, we'll be telling old Van Halen stories and bad mouthing Sammy Hagar. Dun, and, dun, 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 dun. We should get a oh. list of celebrities that try to do radio, and you'll see it's just a disaster, an absolute yeah. disaster. David Lee Roth doesn't talk work. though. Like he's one guy who can just yap. I've seen him at the cellar. He can go, so I've, he might yeah, have a shot compared to most. I've interviewed of them. him over the years. He's you very entertaining. Do it or are you no. guys gonna do it? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> First of all, let me explain one thing to you about comedy. Principle one, nobody wants to hear your positive, uplifting message. <laughs> exactly. You don't have something nasty to say. Right. Shut your trap. <laughs> anyway, guys, as I was saying, serious is very serious. Ma, about me. And infinity, well, there was. There was infinity. So it wasn't serious. It was the wrong network. I don't know what goes on in the world. Wow. The wrong technology, dummy. Yeah. You were off by 80 years. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what happened? S- satellite. All right, let's say hi to Dave in Jersey. Dave? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Not uh, much. I was just wondering whatever happened with uh, Paul the pilot. I guess we're doing random updates today, Anthony. What did happen to Paul? We know he was in a pretty bad car wreck. He was in a horrific he car wreck. It. He was in a coma for a very long time, and uh, he ended up calling us saying he's uh, okay and that he was going to fly again. Yeah. I hadn't heard anything. And we were getting email from people. Coma. We were getting email from people basically saying the guy wasn't going to make it. Yeah. But one day he did call us out of the blue, and it sounded like he was doing you know much better, and that he was planning on flying again. So, mm-hmm. and That's that was good. the last we're we heard. Have- as as good. Well, what are we going to see some wild bats yeah. again? Ah, uh, well, we'll have to try to hunt him down, sir. All right. Thanks a lot. All right, Dave. Bunching up. Colin, do you want to just uh, leave again? Yeah, I'm leaving. Guys, take there care you of go. yourselves. This Thank is my you. last time on. I've got my new Infinity Radio show. Colin's like... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like when Frank used to show up on Carson. Yeah, you know he'd just pop in, sit on the couch, talk a little, and then you think you think he's gonna just slide over. Yeah, and let like uh, yeah. George Goebel sit down and have an interview. No, he's getting up. He's leaving. He's too busy. Right, he's got things to do. I got a flight to go. I'm opening at the Sands. I gotta go to the farm. I got a big gig. Yeah, he's in the but, middle um, of filming a movie. He's right. gotta go right there. Gotta and go. Then. Yeah, Norton's like Frank too. Frank Gorshin, that is dead. <laughs> That's exactly what you should leave on. <laughs> <laughs> you rude today. You said that to me. <laughs> He's got his umbrella. <laughs> Look at yeah. him. Dude, See you later. That is the worst umbrella I've ever seen. But it's a nice shirt in 1967. <laughs> Beat it, Why stupid. That umbrella could cover a family of six as you're walking down the sidewalk. What? What's that? One of those assistants gave me an empty CD of those things I took yesterday. An empty CD case? Yeah. What was the right. CD called? Collins' Greatest Hits? <laughs> Beat it. <laughs> Beat it. Beat it. Beat it, kid. There he goes. Colin Quinn, everyone. Colin. Colin was here. Uh, we, we got in the office, uh, I don't know, quarter after six, and Colin was here. He was already here. I saw him last night, and he goes, I'm going to come in every day until it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs>